G'day folks, Michael from Doom and Darkness bringing you another 1750 point bat rep. So today I'm facing Alex the Slayer guy um, and I am bringing an army inspired by Reef uh, from the, the channel Reef Beastman and I blame him solely for this. Uh, I've always wanted to try this army um, just for shits and giggles almost but I've never had the guts to, to do it so I blame Reef entirely. Uh, let's see what's going on. So my opponent's lift, list running left to right. He calls he calls this his frustration list, um, and it is a frustrating list. It doesn't really seem to, you know, too much at, at initially, um, but it's, it's it's not bad. So on the far left, he's got ten, I reckon they're thunderers. Then he's got a rune lord, just kitted out to be to ruin your magic phase and be freaking unkillable and uh, you know just a pain in your ass uh, two cannons one of them has a flaming ruin on it he's got his little slayer in the middle and I think that's a dragon slayer I reckon it's a dragon slayer maybe it's a demon slayer whatever it is it starts with D and it slays and then next to that facing the edge of the table um, he's got his I think they're called iron breakers Iron breakers or log beard, long beards, whatever. They're a pain in the ass. And in there, he's got his BSB and Lord, and you know some Runesmith and some other crap. Um, some other crap that makes sure, makes sure you're not going to have any any other magic. And that unit as well. That's just um, it's just tough as nails. So it's not super killy, but it's just tough as nails. So uh, I think his his goal is to frustrate you by preventing you having a magic phase, frustrate you by shooting you. Frustrates you by bringing a unit that's almost impossible to break, and then you know he's got uh, this unit of rangers, which he scouted into the building, and then he's got a gyrocopter over the side, which um, could also add some frustration. So I wasn't very frustrated at this point in the game, but I was probably a little bit frustrated by the end of the game. And then my list. So this is um, this is great. I've always wanted to do this. Um, from the left to the right, so I have one giant Mark Nurgle because giants are awesome. I have 17 Marauders Mark Nurgle with Great Weapons and Festus in that unit. So they have regeneration um, and he's a level 2 of, uh, because Festus is in there, he's a level 2 of um, Nurgle. So pretty minimal magic, um, but I knew, I knew uh, Alex was going to go magic heavy, so... Um, you know, I didn't want to try it, you know, why waste level 4? And then I've got a unit of 19 Marauders Mark Zench with light armor and shields. So they're just sword and board. So 5 up armor, 5 up board. And in there I've got on the corner, I've got an Exalted Hero. And he's a pretty plain Exalted Hero. I've just given him a 1 up armor save. Rerollable with the Dawnstone. And then he's got a great weapon for a bit of extra choppiness. A Hell Cannon on the bottom right. And then Skylar, because I had 105 points exactly spare. That's how much Skylar costs. And when I'm running a marauding, raiding-themed army, um, Skylar's the perfect leader for, for such a thing. Now, <clears throat> what you can't see is off on the left-hand side, just sitting there, I ha also have a unit of 17 marauders, Mark Corn with flail, hand weapon, shield, and Wolfric in there. So if you don't know um, anything about Wolfric, he allows you to take a unit um, of marauders and make them, give them the sea fang rule, um, and make them ambushes. So he's going to come on board with them, and he's going to wreck some face. And he wins the first turn to, uh, to go, and... This is what his shooting does. So from you know, off the bat, he kills my hell cannon straight away, um, and that sucks. And then his rangers that are in the building do two wounds to Sky. And then we go straight into my turn. And these these um, this game went really really quick, mostly because, you know, the magic. I had no shooting because I was dead, um, and the magic was pretty much non-existent. So, you know, it was just um. It was pretty straightforward. So on my turn, I just move my um, my marauders up like this. Now we're playing the scenario or the tournament scenario 
um, of hold the center. So essentially what we've got to do is just get a unit with command or banners or whatever into that forest and we're playing the forest as the, the hill to be the, the king of. So um, if you end the game with a, a unit in there with full command, um, yada yada yada, you get a bonus 300 points. So my, my goal is at the moment is basically just to I'm going to um, leave one of the blocks in the forest so I can secure the, the objective points. I'm going to push the other bunch of marauders straight across at his cannons because he's got shooting, but I don't think he's got enough there to whittle me down, um, you know, to prevent me getting in. And then I'm going to bring Seafang in um, from one of the sides and, and tie him up there. So I'm actually, um, at the start of this, I'm thinking this might actually work out okay because I can get those ranges. Uh, like, I'm probably going to lose Skylar and that sort of stuff. Whatever, that's fine. But I've got three blocks of Marauders here to work with in a Giant. Um, so I'm, I'm thinking I can probably get his War Machines, capture the objective, and maybe get another unit. I don't know. We'll see. But that's what I'm thinking anyway. And here it's showing, yeah, so Skylar makes the charge into the building. And we just sort of thought this is, um, you know... It's kind of like King Kong, you know. He's the great ape, so that's that's me trying to show him climbing up the side of the building to uh, get at those ranges. And the little gyrocopter down there is uh, flying around, you know, King Kong, top of the Empire State. But yeah, I don't need to explain it. And then after combat, King Kong gets killed. Um, oh, it was just shit, you know. Um, I challenge. He didn't accept. Um, I whiffed. I think I rolled. I don't know, four attacks or something ridiculous with my attacks and then he just did the last two wounds and um, there goes Skylar, my general, on turn one falling to his death from the top of the tower. Awesome. And turn two. So yeah, his gyrocopter flies over or gyrocopter and burns me. You can see there are uh, four dead there. But then that was, so he, he shot at me with the rangers, I think, first, and killed four. And then he burnt me and killed, you know, a couple more. And then you can see his cannons have opened up as well, and his cannons have just wasted my giant. So, uh, this is not looking too good. My general's dead, my giant's dead, my hell cannon's dead, and my marauders are all burnt up already. Um, yeah, awesome. And then my turn, so my Marauders, my Zench Marauders with my Exalted Hero BSB go into the building and I'm pretty confident I can um, kill those guys. I mean my hero by itself should win that combat for me. Um, and then my other Marauders with um, Festus march up as much as they can and they're just going, so they're probably two turns away from the War Machines. He's got one more turn of shooting at them and then he can... Um, they can get in there and start mixing it up. And you can see on the far right hand side as well that uh, Seafang came on. So the, sh the boat arrived and uh, out come my crazy corn berserkers with Wolfric. Now in the unit, his killer unstoppable or unkillable unit there, he's got a uh, uh, his BSB, which isn't really that special, but that's who I've chosen Wolfric to, um, whose head he's come to collect. Because uh, I, I think Wolfric can can probably pull that off. So uh, there's probably two turns there and two turns there um, before they're in combat. So I should kill the rangers, occupy the building. I'll take some more shooting, but you know I'll, I'll, I'll get up. And then on my next turn, I'll move out of the building to occupy the center. And then the turn after, I should be charging and um, hopefully pick up some points and then control the center as well. So that's the plan. And then we go into shooting and, uh, geez, I don't know what I'm trying to show here. Oh, that's right. We go into combat. Um, going to combat and I just, I can't kill these stupid freaking rangers. Um, I did, I think I did four. I won by, four, I won this by four. So I killed two. Well, I did three there, but then I had a charge. Um, that put me up by four he made his break check and that sucks so now I bounce one inch back and I'm just gonna to get toasted by the gyrocopter again um, 
No, whatever. But, you know, I should still be alive. I should have enough to force him out next round. I'll still have my Exalted Hero there. And then, yeah, his turn. So, um, he flies his Gyrocopter there to burn me, which is just charming. And then you can see he's running his little Slayer around the side of his unit as well. He's he's trying to get that B lot that uh, Slayer to make a beeline for Wolfric, because um, that's probably going to be a fun fight. So, yeah. And then here we go, some shooting. So I reckon that's his um, uh, his Thunderers just doing, taking two off. Three off. So he's putting some cannons through me as well. Must be. And there's another three. So that's three there. Yep. And again. So three for me. Too bad. And my turn. So... I charged with um, Wolfric and his crew, and I failed by half an inch, and just staggered forward, bugger all, and that was frustrating. That really, really sucked. Um, I charged my Zench block back into the building, but look at how many I've got. Like just after that round round of shooting, I've only got seven Marauders left and my Exalted Hero, um, but it should be enough to kill what seven Rangers, six Rangers. Surely, um, and then my my Nurgle guys, they just yeah, they they're going up. They're going to try and get them some war machines, or even flank charge on the block. I don't even know where I'm going to go with them yet, um, but I needed to do something with them. And there's a picture. So yeah, look, I went in there and I killed one guy, the guy laying down at the back, one freaking guy. That's just. It's just ridiculous. Um, but I still won because I charged. I killed one. He didn't kill any. Um, I've got a banner. He's got a banner, whatever. I think I... I can't remember how much I won it by. Um, but the worst thing is, is that he stuck again. So I'm going to get toasted another time. But anyway, we're going to turn four. And these are just showing his buff. So he's actually... Um, He's got the anvil and he's using it, and he's getting probably like like he's got two channels, the anvil, then whatever dice he rolls, and he's getting nine dice magic phases to my, you know, four or five dice. Um, and I mean he's making everything immune to psychology, which doesn't really matter. Then he's getting this buff that that token is to show he's improved their armor save by one, which could make a difference. And then he's doing the magic missile as well, and um, I can't stop. I'm trying to stop the armor save one, um, mostly, and I'm just not able to. He's actually getting magic and, and magic missiles off, and um, doing a few a few wounds. So, yeah, I know in most, I suppose normally the spells, the bound spells from the anvil won't do bugger all, but um, I suppose they haven't. They're having some effect this game, that's for sure. And then you can see his lone slayer there. He just goes and parks him out in front of my uh, greatsword Nurgle Marauders because he wants to block um, uh, block them up. And yeah, here we go. So he starts the, the shooting. And um, oh my god. So that's a steam. I lose four there. So I've only got three Marauders left and my hero. And then I fail my panic test. Yeah, because he got them under. So they fail a, a panic test and they run away. Um, and that sucks. You know, I had two rounds of trying to get those rangers out. Couldn't do it. Fluffed. Even though I won the combats, uh, they just, you know, they were they were sticking. And um, this whole unit's basically dead now. Um, really, really disappointing. And then over here, yeah, look at that. So, he's, um, geez, what did he do? He, he used the Ambul's magic missile, and I reckon he did a, a heap of wounds that way, and then just his Thunderers, he did even more, um, and I've just got nothing left now. And here he's trying to snipe Fest Festus out, because I don't get a lookout there anymore. So, we're going to my turn, and what do I do? That's right, so I charge Festus, out of the unit and into the cannon because I couldn't take that Slayer anymore. The Slayer would have killed my whole freaking unit. Um, so I just had to get around him. So I, I charged Festus into the cannon. 
I thought, you know, what the hell, I'll, I'll just try and pick up some points. And then I moved the um, Marauders. I just moved them past the Slayer. Um, I think I could wheel around. In hindsight, I'm thinking I don't know if I could have maintained an inch at every time. So I might not have been able to wheel, wheel around, but um, it doesn't really matter. I rally my uh, Zench Warriors down the bottom here, so that's good, but um, it's too little too late. And up the top right-hand side, my Marauders with Wolfric freaking fail their charge again by an inch again. Um, so that's two turns in a row they failed their charges, and they are sort of my win card. Well, not my win card, but they're meant to get me some points. Um, and so far they've done nothing. And here's just another picture of, uh, of that. Actually, I think this is combat, and we go into combat. Uh, Festus goes into combat with the cannon crew, and everyone just uh, just tickles each other and uh, has a merry old time. I try to force a potion down his throat, and um, uh, I don't get it. So that's unfortunate. Turn five. <laughs> yeah, he just kills them. Um, he doesn't care. And that's with one of his, uh, I think that was just with his Thunderers over there. So he kills that unit and he moves the Slayer around to the rear of Festus. So he's going to get a charge in there. And then over here, he puts a one of his cannons directly on my Exalted Hero. I don't get a lookout, sir, anymore. He hits me, he wounds me, there is no armor save, and he kills me. So that sucks. There goes my BSB and this unit. And yeah, um, yeah, and then he burnt me or shot me or something. But I've, I've, I think I've got two guys left. He did one more wound. I found my my panic check, and they're off running again. And then over here we do go into my turn, and guess what? No surprise, my Wolfric freaking fails to to make the charge again. And they weren't super long charges. They were average sort of every time, you know, like a 7 or an 8 or something like that. Um, you know, I was rolling 6s and 4s and 5s, and this is just, oh, this is so painful. Um, I would have loved to see what these, these mad little berserkers could have done, but whatever. And... And yeah, so uh, I think I preemptively took that turn six photo because in the combat over here with his cannon, I uh, decide to feed it a, a potion and uh, and <laughs> the cannon drinks it. So um, falls it down the barrel of the cannon and do three wounds and kill the cannon. So that's fantastic. And then I reform to face his slayer who's, uh, who's going to come at me. Yep, and there we go. So here's the actual, actual start of turn. And his Slayer comes into Festus, and I'm a little bit worried because Festus isn't very strong, and um, Slayers are killy. So, uh, you know, goodbye, Festus. And then over here, so I'm, I'm, t I'm saying to him, come on, just charge me. He just charged me, you know, get these guys into combat. But he um, he doesn't want to give up any points. He doesn't want to take any, any risks because he is trying to practice. Um, so he actually backs up as much as he can without coming within an inch of uh, Festus and the Slayer. And um, yeah, that sucks, but you know, whatever. And then you can see he, he, he moves his um, Rangers out in single file into the forest, um, or majority in it. So I think, I think he's still got a full command left and um, I'm not sure if, if the tournament rules say you need 10 or more models or five or more models, but um, you know, this is as good as secured it. Um, and then, yeah, I rallied, but he's going to burn me. He doesn't care. Kills another one. And over here, um, because the you test to see if, you know, you feed your opponent a potion at the start of the... Um, the combat phase, so before anyone gets to attack. So I, I check and we rolled equal and I forced a, uh, a potion down this Slayer's uh, throat and uh, killed him. So Festus is just, uh, he's throwing mad brews around. He's, he's, he, he, he doesn't care. He's uh, he's killing everyone. This is great. This made the, the game really quite fun with um, this, this force feeding of, of dirty potions. But 
Yeah, no, that was beautiful. Thank you. And then I reformed to face the cannon because I've still got one more turn and I'm going to get this cannon. And yeah, this is my turn and guess what? No, it's no surprise now. What the fuck? Wolfric fails again. So that's actually four charges in a row. And I think I rolled double ones. I think I needed to get, like, it was nine inches away. I movement four and I rolled double ones. Um, you know, so they fail again. But it doesn't matter because uh, Festus makes it into the camp. And over here, my one little guy, yeah, he... I thought, you know what, I'll just go for a charge, a... Um, a flank charge on those those rangers because I'll probably die but it doesn't matter you never know I might get them and then uh, so this is the first turn which is turn six of the entire game I've got any spells off and I get uh, miasma of pestilence the big one off on this cannon so well on Festus himself so it drops their weapon skill by three and then I throw out the um, plague wind which is Useless, but I, hey, you know, do it anyway. And uh, I think I did a wound to the anvil. And then, yeah, so um, Festus feeds the cannon another potion. Um, and this just made this game fun. You know, just Festus, lone guy. Everything else is, uh, is annihilated, but he's running around by himself, unstoppable in the uh, in the backfield, pouring filthy, dirty potions down everyone's throat and, uh, and melting them from the inside. So... Um, that was good fun. Now this is where the the game ends, um, and it is just an absolute slaughter. The Marauders were just just no match for anything that the uh, the Dwarves had, and um, geez, that really 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 sucks. So, but like I said, the game was inspired by Reef, and like Reef says, hey, you know. Who cares? Just put it down. Have some fun. Push it across the table. Blah blah blah. Whatever. Um, so that's what we did, and uh, and hey, it was still fun. What do you know? So thanks for watching, everyone. And um, I've got another match directly after this, and believe it or not, it's with another dwarf. So hopefully, I'll see you then.